Uh-oh, is Uber and Lyft ending in Chicago, one of the country's biggest rideshare markets? Find out in today's video. Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. Thank you so much for coming by. My name is Dylan and I am a rideshare driver. I drive for Uber and for Lyft. And if you don't believe me, you can go through all my videos and check out all my earnings because some people like to talk and claim that I'm not a real driver. But, you know, you can go through my channel yourself and see that I clearly am a driver. Um, but anyways, guys, that's totally irrelevant. Uh, welcome back to the video. Um, there is, Uber and Lyft might possibly be either ending or uh, drivers are gonna be not being able to drive full time in Chicago. Um, so that's big news. There are a few drivers in Chicago, I mean quite a few drivers in Chicago, excuse me. And so if you drive in Chicago, it might be time to start looking for a, another job on the side or at least something to replace Uber and Lyft if they do end next year, so in a couple months. Um, basically there's a huge tax that's gonna be, that would increase the price of uh, Uber and Lyft rides, which in turn would limit rides for drivers. I'm gonna get into all of it. There's articles, I even have a message specifically from Lyft. So Lyft is actually um, encouraging drivers to, you know, they're kind of basically warning drivers of what's going on. So I'm gonna get into all of that, but before I do jump into the video, I do have a special, 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 why does that sound weird? Special, me special message for you guys. If you guys have not yet downloaded the Get Upside app, it is an app that pays you to fill up gas. You, you get 15 cents off per gallon, yes, per gallon, so I have a 15 gallon tank. That's, that's a couple bucks right there. So if you want discounts on your gas, use my code. It will be in the link uh, in the description down below. It's called Get Upside. You have to use my code though to get that discount. So use that code and then 15 cents on your first gallon. And then in the future, you will also get multiple cents off per gallon on your gas. And you, by uh, referring people and also just by using my link. All right, now let's get into the video. Please give the video a big thumbs up. And of course, subscribe so you don't miss an out on any more videos on my channel. Guys, I am trying to get to 100,000 subscribers by 2020. So if you have not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Let's get to 100,000 subscribers. If we do, I will do No Shave November. I will not shave uh, for the entire month of November. That will be interesting because I cannot grow a beard. This is like a couple days worth and it's already like scruffy scruff um i have shaved my mustache but i'm gonna i will leave everything like even down here so hit that subscribe button let's get to 100k so i can do no shave november anyways guys here we go this is a screenshot that a fellow driver in chicago sent me um i'm gonna well whatever that's his email <laughs> who cares whatever <laughs> um i guess he's on blast um don't email them though, guys. New fees will hurt Chicago riders and drivers. He got this and he said, Dylan, look at this. He posted this in my Facebook group. I don't know if it was directed towards me, but I saw it. And um, yeah, join the Facebook group if you haven't yet. Well, I guess it's not in the description, but you can find it. It's called Uber slash Lyft drivers Facebook group on Facebook. The city of, Ch this is what it says. This is from Lyft. Today at 7.39 p.m. Not today, today, but that was a couple days ago. The city of Chicago already has the highest rideshare fees in the nation. And now the city wants to go even further by tripling rideshare fees in its 2020 budget. Do you think passengers are going to want to still order rides if rides cost three times as much? Heck no. They're going to be taking the train. They're going to be walking. Chicago has an amazing train system. And... I've actually taken the train in Chicago. I was just there uh, about two weeks ago. It was fun. I love the train. I didn't take one Uber or Lyft because it's so easy to get around town on the train and by walking. And um, yeah, I know what you're thinking. What about the snow, Dylan? It's It gets cold as heck in the winter in Chicago. People can wear boots. People will wear boots and jackets and they won't take Ubers and Lyft. Why? Because they're going to cost three times as much. So that's not good for drivers because... Yes, some people still probably will take those rides, but those are going to be the high class people and um, 
you know, the lower and middle class people just simply, you know, I'm just stating it, stating the obvious, they're not going to want to pay three times as much for a ride. That's going to be ridiculous. Um, so, carrying on. We don't think that's fair to riders or drivers. Chicagoans, Chicagoans, oh guys, by the way, if you've never been to Chicago, get their deep dish pizza if, when you go, next time you go. Where did I go? I went to this amazing deep dish pizza. So good. Oh, I got this uh, vegan, no, not vegan, gluten-free pizza. The crust was made out of sausage. It was a sausage crust pizza. Yes, like a legit sausage was the crust. It was crazy. It was, it was so good though. And then I had that plus the deep dish. Oh my God, I couldn't even walk afterwards. Chicagoans are already spread too thin when it comes to fees and taxes, and this proposal would raise current rates by as much as 300%. Let me get a zoom in on that. 300, guys. These new fees will have a significant impact on the Chicago Lyft community, including, guys, guys, listen. Are you guys listening? Listen up closely, okay? Turn your headphones up. Turn your AirPods up. Or your car. Whatever. Your computer. Go like this. You need to hear this, okay? Are you, did you turn it up all the way yet? Listen, okay? Higher fares for passengers. Fewer rides taken. Limiting drivers' opportunity to earn. Less transportation access in undeserved neighborhoods that need it most. Guys, also, another crazy thing is that there are... In Chicago, some of the train stops don't stop in some of the bad neighborhoods because there's a lot of people, it's kind of bad, but basically from my understanding is that some of the trains, there weren't that many people taking the train because the train's kind of expensive. And so um, it wasn't, it just wasn't making sense for people to get off to, for the train to stop there. And now it's like this weird little situation where like, these under, like, you know, under, um, I guess these poor communities, it's harder for them now to get to the city because there's not really, like, that good public transportation. It's like a weird system. And so this is even worse for passengers because now, like I was saying, it's going to cost three times as much. So transportation is really big for the economy. It's really important for the economy to, to grow especially for um, like lower class and middle class because you know they need to get to work a lot of the higher class people you know they don't doesn't really matter they can just they'll pay extra or they work from home or you know they have personal drivers or they have whatever they don't the money doesn't matter for them as much for transportation but for the lower class middle class people this is huge guys this is not good um i mean i don't know i I, I, I would love to talk to the mayor of Chicago and ask him why, I mean, I, obviously he has a reason why, you know? I'm gonna get into the uh, articles here in a second, but before I do, guys, I just wanted to say, if you're a driver in any market, not even in Chicago, but in any market, this is why it's vital to have a plan B when you're driving or something you're doing on the side. Um, if you if Uber and Lyft is your main thing, it is very dangerous because just like that, you've seen on other videos on this channel, Greg was deactivated for a week while they were running his background check and he never did anything wrong. Um, Dustin's driving was deactivated from Lyft for a false report. Um, people get deactivated for low for uh, high cancellation rates, um, for doing too many cancellations, for low too low ratings. Like they're in. California, I don't even know what's good. We might have to all become employees and in New York City It's like they're limiting drivers. You know what I mean? It's it's happening guys. It's happening right now In certain markets uber and lyft is not a forever thing. It's not a long-term game plan and a Lot of driver. It's just not uh, you can't depend on it You know drivers get deactivated for everything and in some places they're even limiting how many hours drivers can work because there's too many drivers. Um, some places are even talking about scheduled shifts. Lyft even talked about scheduled shifts in California. So, um, if if yeah, if, if your schedule doesn't line up with, you know, with the shift, like 
sorry. I mean, yeah, these, all right, here we go. I'm just, I just wanted to say that because, you know, um, it's important to have a second plan, a plan B pretty much, or even a plan C, guys. So if you guys know me, like I do a bunch of little small things. That's how I'm barely scraping by. You know, I do YouTube, I do Uber, I do Lyft. I'm working on another company which isn't making any money right now. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, I guess that's pretty much it. I mean, it, I might even need to start start getting a job. Like, I might go work at um, at Walmart. Walmart actually reached out to me to do work in sales or something. Um, I never responded to them, but maybe I should. You know, maybe I should start my. Own. I've been trying to start my own rideshare company too, the dash cam company that records all rides for Ubers and Lyfts, trying to get it, you know, I would have to go political with that too and try to get um, politicians to incorporate that into cars because I think it's crazy that Uber and Lyft cars do not have cameras inside every single car tracking everything. There's some crazy thing that goes on inside. If anything's crazy happened to you, let me know in the comment section down below. You know, I've had crazy things happen to me before that that ride wasn't being recorded and like if it was, that ride probably would have gone viral on YouTube. So. Um, but, you know, like you said, you can't even post rides on YouTube. You can't even post your videos on YouTube. Um, Uber and Lyft are against that, but this would just be for safety. So if you guys would be interested in me pursuing that more, uh, let me know. I, like it would basically just be a dash cam inside of every single Uber and Lyft car. Uber would be monitoring it. Drivers would be monitoring it. That way, if anything bad goes on, if a passenger you know leaves a false report it'll be on camera and you can say oh look you know i was not driving drunk or i wasn't speeding you know and the speed will be tracked too so this would be safer for driver for passengers and for drivers because it would basically be like a preventative thing because people just would know that everything's being recorded so you wouldn't want to pull anything funny anyway like you've seen rideshare pa on my video that i posted um he got some guy tried to rob him you know it wouldn't happen if everybody knew that every ride was being recorded. So here we go, guys. This is from Automotive News. Uber Lyft face a possible $40 million a year tax hike in Shaw City. Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot is moving to hit ride-hailing companies with a $40 million a year tax hike, and those traveling to or from downtown will bear the bulk of the load. Exactly what I just said, guys. I haven't even read this, by the way, so I, um, I'm reacting live to you guys, so... I was just sharing my thoughts before even reading it. I do like to live react with you guys so we can both have the same experience together. This is a community, you know? This is not a news channel. This is YouTube. This is not TV. I don't need to prepare. I'm just reading with you guys, okay? Under the mayor's proposal, the cost of hailing an Uber or Lyft will rise as much as 2.28 a trip above what's now paid in city taxes. Everyone taking a direct nonstop trip who is not picking up passengers will pay at least 53 cents more each way. Wow. Chicago City Council must still approve such a measure. Measure Lightfoot has been signaling for weeks she could boost fees beyond the 72 cents a ride the city now charges. Um, yeah, that's the fees. Not the, nor not the actual rate of the ride. That doesn't even include the, the cost of the ride. That's just what the city charges. Pointing to increased congestion, especially downtown, the mayor in a statement describes the fee hikes as the first steps to a broader London-style congestion tax. What? Research time. What the heck is a London style congestion track tax? So how would a congestion tax work? In a controversial idea, but one Lightfoot is weighing as she stares down an $838 million budget hole. Oh my gosh. Such a scheme would likely cut traffic, but it would raise enough revenue to be worth the hassle. Oh, I don't want to read all that right now. Okay, let's continue. Though much more research is needed to do that, she says that action is necessary to improve mobility and further our goals of ensuring sustainable, affordable, and reliable. Okay, so she's trying to make more affordable public transportation and not do Uber and Lyft. Makes sense, actually. Some of the $40 million in revenue uh, would help the Chicago Transit. That's, that's not even that much money. If you guys know anything about building like trains and roads and stuff, $40 million bucks is hardly anything. Um, <clears throat> the CTA believes that has lost a significant amount of business to Uber and Lyft. Of course, obviously. Another chunk of proceeds will go toward an 
other unspecified anti-congestion. Yeah, this is the problem. They don't specify any of it. They just say we need money, but you know, who knows where that money's going. However, most of the proceeds will go to the city's general treasury, helping Lightfoot close an $830 million gap in the new budget she's scheduled to unveil next week. Okay, so she, I don't know. She just needs money, so she's trying to create money by on taxes. Opposition expected. Blah, blah, blah. Here's one more article, guys, really quickly before we finish up, because I know this is running long. But basically, you know what? Let's just do this really quick. I always love to look at who the person is. Who is Mayor Lori Lightfoot? She's an American politician and lawyer serving as the 56th and current mayor of Shaw City. Private legal practice, blah, blah, blah. Cool beans. Okay. Our city, like many others across the nation, has experienced skyrocketing congestion growth. Um, yeah. Honestly, when I was there, it wasn't that trafficy. Like, I didn't notice the traffic was that bad in Chicago. Especially not as bad as it is in LA. So, honestly, in LA is doing fine. Well, it's actually the traffic is horrible here, but you guys know what I mean. We're surviving out here. Um, and sh Chicago traffic isn't that bad. Trust me, I was just there. And I was there on the weekends, which is even worse for traffic. Uh, well, maybe not. Well, no, I was there on the weekday as well, you know, even during rush hour. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Again, this basically is just warning you if you drive in Chicago or any other market that, well, mostly Chicago, that this could um, limit your rides in if this does pass. And then other markets, just to warn you that this, you know, something like this could very well happen in another big major market like Miami, Seattle, Phoenix. Uh, Los Angeles, San Francisco, New York City, Boston, um, Washington DC, Philadelphia, um, and any major market. Who's, who's calling me? Jesus, scared me. <laughs> oh my gosh, did you guys see my face on that? It was so loud because I turned my volume all the way up. Alright, anyways guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Please leave the video a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Have a great and amazing day and afternoon and night and evening whenever you're watching this video. I will talk to y'all soon. Later guys, peace.